All right, so 2023 was the year of AI, and it's clear that 2024 is going to be the year of AI acceleration. And High Level has recently released so many cool AI features that I wanted to share with you in this video. But that's not all we're talking about today, because as we know, High Level releases some features that aren't fully built out quite yet. And that's when other companies come in and sell to people that are using High Level and improve upon what High Level has built out. So we're going to be covering all of the native features in High Level, but we're also going to be covering some third party party tools that are pretty insane and can help you improve the results you're getting for your clients, for your own business, whatever makes sense for you. So the first one available inside of High Level is Content AI. And not only does this cover written content, but you can also generate images with this. And this is available across multiple areas inside of High Level, which is super useful for your clients. So you can do it inside of the social planner, you can do it inside of the email builder, and you can do it inside of funnels and websites. And initially when this came out, I said, you know, High Level's charging me for this. It's nine cents per 1000 words. And I have chat GPT for, you know, why would I need to use this inside of high level? But they've recently made some quality of life improvements that are pretty insane. So not only will it generate based on a prompt, a specific tonality that you want, but once it's done actually generating the words, you can go in and highlight the words that you want it to change, expand, write longer, shorter, etc., and tweak it that way right inside of the funnel builder. So if you're building something for a coach, for example, you could give it the prompt, give it the tone, and then it will write that. And if you need it to be different and this can really help your copywriting process as you go along building the funnel. And of course, I don't have to give too much context to see the value inside of the email builder and the social planner as well. Tons of amazing use cases there. Now, our next one is technically inside of content AI as well, but it is quite different. It is reviews AI. And what reviews AI can do is respond automatically to reviews that you get on Facebook and Google. Now, this is so helpful because it will actually take the context of what was said in the review, respond as the owner, and it's going to save your clients so much time. Plus, responding to reviews has been proven to help with SEO for clients. So very awesome. And just for context, this one is built at 8 cents per reply. Great. Next up, this brings us to conversational AI. And this is where things start to get insane because you can teach a bot everything about your business inside of high level and then high level will respond as if it were you. I'll show you what I mean with this video here. So as you can see, you'll find the conversation AI feature in your settings. You have to activate it from the agency menu first. And then once you do, you'll see you have these two options, suggestive mode, which as its name suggests answers based on the information that you fed it. So it's not actually going to send anything or you can do autopilot mode and that's actually sending messages. Then you can adjust the bot's entering times, a few other details, and they make it available for a ton of channels like Facebook Messenger, Instagram, SMS, chat widget, and even live chat, which is a cool new feature. Then you can train the bot by adding frequently asked questions, as well as linking to websites or even Google Docs with tons of information about your business. And that will train the bot up. It will learn about you and then be able to respond to people automatically that way. Now on the surface, this seems absolutely amazing. And I'm sure with a ton of fine tuning, you could get this to work pretty much exactly as you want. But the main issue is that this runs on GPT 3.5 and not GPT 4, which is going to be a quantum leap in performance, even if you do all the training that you need to do. So for basic requests, super simple bot flows for clients or yourself, this will work perfectly. But if you need something more advanced to kind of qualify people, ask them specific questions, move them through certain workflows, depending on what they say, then some of the third party options I mentioned later in this video will be a better fit for you. And there are quite a few people just selling this feature to local businesses. Hey, you'll get a CRM, but we won't just get a CRM. You'll get a receptionist that can respond to absolutely everything that comes in to your business. And there's some insane money to be made there. Awesome. So that brings us to workflow AI. If you don't know about high levels workflow builder, it's the best part of the app. It allows you to automate like a million different things. I made a full video outlining every single feature inside of high level. And this was the longest part of that video. But what's really cool is again, recently they've brought AI into workflows and this actually changes the game of how the workflow builder can work. So let's say you're building a workflow, but there's something custom that needs to be sent depending on how somebody responded. And it's not just a simple yes or no. You can input your conversational AI only in that text to respond specifically to that person, how they should be responded to. And once that person responds, it's going to automatically detect if the right intention or the right things were said, and then we'll move them along the workflow. This is super helpful because in the past you had to think of, okay, what's every single way somebody would answer this. But now you can just say, here's some 
parameters for the bot, you go ahead and take care of it after the person responds. This is saving everybody a ton of time and has a lot of flexibility as well. But there's actually more inside of Workflow AI, and that's sending a prompt to ChatGPT and then having ChatGPT send that prompt back to the Workflow Builder. Pretty insane. So there's like a million use cases here, but let's say, for example, you wanted to automate something internally with your team, where if somebody sends a certain Slack message, that could automatically get sent to ChatGPT, it would generate the message, and then that could email it off to your clients. All right, so that covers everything natively inside of High Level. The next is our third party tools. And that means that it's time for the part of this video that I'm calling Bot Wars. So since conversational AI has come out in general, just across the board, there's been a lot of people building bot softwares that are an improvement upon High Level's current conversational AI, because it's not amazing. It's pretty good, but sometimes it gets tripped up. It says, I don't have enough information to help with that, or it just runs off with something that it doesn't actually have context on and gives the wrong answer to clients. So as far as I'm concerned, I think you sort of need a third party tool if you're going to be reselling bots to people and you want them to be the absolute best thing and they need something that's even remotely sophisticated. So the four platforms I'm going to talk about today are Capri AI, Zappy Chat, Closebot, and Consolidata AI. So Capri, as far as I know, was kind of the first one on the scene, at least to the high level marketplace, and they allow you to customize things inside. And while their user interface is a little bit harder to use than some of the other ones here, they do allow you a lot of customization and you can really finagle things to be exactly how you want them with the bot. Capri connects to both Google's Dialogflow and OpenAI's ChatGPT. They're evolving so fast, you'll have to check with them as to what GPT they're currently using right now. But this is a solid option. Like I don't see anything wrong with this, except that the setup is a little bit more complicated than some of the other options on this list. All right, so that brings us to Zappy Chat. This is a company founded by Matt Decino, if you know him from HL Pro Tools. And I did a full interview with his other co-founder, Andrew, which you can watch on the channel where he describes the future of AI, conversational AI, and specifically how Zappy Chat can help people. And my thing is we don't hate talking to robots. We hate talking to robots that don't do their job well. Now where Zappy Chat excels is the ease of setup. There is some insane stuff that they have done where literally all you have to do is connect Zappy Chat to high level. And then after that, you create the bot, fill in the info, name, message, how long you want it to take before it replies, and then hit go. So here's an example of something I did with Zappy Chat. So I set it up as an example here for a virtual receptionist for an osteopath or chiropractic clinic. And I wanted the bot to ask some pre-qualifying questions to build some rapport with the customer. As you can see in this example, Ben messaged in, the bot takes a few seconds, but then begins the questions. And you can obviously set it to ask whatever your niche or client needs. But for this example, let's say your client wants to get the reason for the visit. So it asks about the type of pain, then it asks if it's restricting anything and so on. And at the end of the conversation, it empathizes with the customer and gently prompts them to come in for a visit. Now, to be clear, this is what helps this stand out above high levels conversational AI. Number one, you can have multiple bots for unlimited flexibility. So unlike high level, you can create unlimited bot per contact, per sub account, or per Per client offering some pretty insane flexibility. And with those, you can define the bot personalities globally for the whole account, or you can fine tune them for specific things that that client needs done. You can also set specific achievements for those individual bots and Zappy Chat will mark those achievements as done. And when they are done, it can trigger workflows, which is insane, meaning that it can add tags and do all sorts of other crazy stuff. And the last benefit here is the cost efficiency. High level is currently billing things at five cents per message and Zappy Chat, if you do the math is like 20 times less expensive and they will even cover your open AI fees if you do an annual deal with them. I'll include the link below so that you can get that specific deal. But those message fees can really add up at five cents a message plus SMS costs or WhatsApp costs if you're sending through there. So it's something to consider, although Zappy Chat does cost more money anyway every single month. So I don't know, kind of just depends on how much you're sending. And one more thing I forgot to mention about Zappy Chat that's really cool. They have a self-selling AI snapshot where you literally just put your prospective client's business website into a little form and it spits out a bot immediately based on everything that is actually scanned from the website. So within seconds, you could have a functional bot, maybe 80% of the way there for your clients, and they can actually interact with that bot by texting back and forth with it. And that absolutely will sell itself. All right, next up is Closebot. This one has been getting a lot of love lately. Everybody's been saying it's better than Zappy Chat, better than Capri. I don't 100% know what to think because I have limited experience testing each one of these, and I'm just trying to get the options out to you guys as fast as 
possible. But what seems to be different about Closebot is it allows you to configure the intents of the bot based on priorities. So this allows the bot to handle much more complex situations because it can prioritize and deprioritize things as they come up based on the goals that you've given it. So instead of just training with a massive prompt, which is what some of these other chat softwares do, you're actually training piece by piece, task by task. And then you can also train that on what a qualified answer to a particular question looks like and what a non-qualified answer would look like. The UI is also excellent. I tend to prefer it a little bit over Zappy chats, but that's really just personal preference. Now, lastly, on the chat side of things, Consolidata. Now, this isn't really a chat platform. This is a data platform that allows you to put a bunch of different places that you'd like to see data in one spot. And the founder, Ross, is a really smart guy. He actually posted this the other day, which I thought was pretty genius. And he was sort of calling out these other bot platforms and saying, look, ChatGPT, at the end of the day, they're the engine behind every single one of these platforms. Like they just are. And if they release a feature natively, like custom GPTs, which they just released, it's actually going to be better than trying to finagle a million different things in another software. It's like using Jasper instead of ChatGPT today. Jasper is literally just ChatGPT dressed up. So why wouldn't you just use ChatGPT? They're going to be better. They're getting the data faster and they're the engine behind Jasper in the first place. So what Ross is advocating for here is that everybody set up their custom GPT and then just simply link that using an API key to their high level account and make a simple transition away from any of these more complicated bot softwares. Now, do I think he's 100% right? Maybe. I'm not actually sure. It'll be really interested how all of this unfolds. If you have Zappy Chat already, if you have Closebot already, if you have Capri already, I don't think it's been a bad investment. You're certainly going to be ROI positive, but if you could just skip all of these and instead connect directly to ChatGPT, which you'll be able to do through Consolidata and which you can do with a custom setup anyway right now, maybe that's going to be a better solution for you. However, if you're someone that's not extremely tech savvy like me and you just want someone to walk you through how to actually set this bot up and it can do a ton of slick things, it's amazing, it can handle complex situations and you don't mind paying a couple of hundred extra dollars per month for you and all your clients to have that interface, then go ahead and use something like Zappy Chat, Capri or Closebot. Alrighty, I know you thought we were done with all of these third-party tools, but I actually have one more that's pretty unique and it's called FormWise. And what FormWise allows you to do is take ChatGPT and wrap it up for very specific use cases and then resell that in your SaaS. Now, the first time I saw this, I didn't really get why anyone would want it, but then I saw some of the ways people were doing this and I was like, oh, that actually makes a lot of sense. So let's say you're selling to real estate agents. Inside of your GHL SaaS, you could add a custom menu link that, that says copy generator, let's say. And when people click on that copy generator, there could be multiple forms that people can go in and type in just a few bits of information about maybe a listing that they have or an email they want to send or whatever specific use cases you have for realtors. And then it will spit out that listing information, that email, whatever else it is that the client needs. Now, again, I know you're thinking, well, now why wouldn't I just go to ChatGPT and do this myself? A, your clients may not know how, and you're actually saving them a step or two by creating some custom prompts when you set up these forms. And instead of your client having to copy paste that whole prompt and replace the words inside of ChatGPT, all they have to do is type it in and then it's automatically going to put the information that they put in into the prompt that you've created and spit that back out. If you want to see how this works, they actually have a free A2 P10 DLC copy generator that you can check out. I'll link down below. Also links for every single one of these softwares that I've talked about down below. If you end up signing up for them through my link, I very much appreciate it. You'll help support the channel. If you sign up for a high level, I have $8,000 worth of bonuses that you can get just for signing up or upgrading with my link. So I very much appreciate you doing that. I'm also running a 90 day challenge, which closes on the 31st of January, where you can win up to a $10,000 cash prize for my affiliates. So another reason to sign up there. Thanks so much for tuning in guys. We'll see you in the next one.